All right guys, so welcome back. Now, today we are still at the abandoned RAF houses. Not RAF, uh, RAF. Okay, so, okay, so. Okay. Okay. Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, <laughs> now today, you fucking wall. Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. Yeah, you didn't have to. Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Fuck you, hell. All right, I'm not starting again. Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. We are still at the the the, the houses at the abandoned. <laughs> the, 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 that's all, folks. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. All right, guys, welcome back. Now today we are still in the abandoned houses at the yeah, abandoned airfield. Um, we did do uh, another investigation at the, the big house on the lot. Uh, we didn't think we could get into any of the others, but we did have another scout around just as we were leaving the other building and we managed to find a way into this one. Not as big as the other one, um, but Still it's- Still quite a big one. Yeah, and it's kind of like a, a miniature yeah. copy of the big house. Um, so yeah, we've had a, Quick look round, and uh, yeah, we're just going to jump straight into it. So let's go. <laughs> okay, so we've come upstairs to the landing, and uh, really big landing up here, um, really wide. But as you can see, as always, we have put some devices down, got K2 meter there, REM pod on the floor, cat ball on the floor, and um, cat ball down there as well. And we're gonna call out. So if there are any spirits in this house that wanna communicate, my name's Michael. My name's Adrian. We come with the utmost respect, and we're basically doing an investigation to find out whether life still exists after death. Now, if there are any spirits that still reside in this property, we would love for you to come forward to communicate with us. We can do this a very, very in different ways. You can touch these devices that are on the floor here, or you could say something to us. You could knock on something like that, you could bang something. So if you can give us a sign, please do so. Crows are going absolutely bonkers outside yeah. now. And none of these devices will do any harm to you. All they will do is light up or make a noise and that will show us that you're next to them or you've touched them. I just don't get the same feeling in this place as the, no, other, I don't. As the other house. I don't Even at all. Even though they're very similar, I don't know, this one. It just feels a bit different. It does feel different. Obviously, you can prove me wrong. Yeah. We was at a house just a few doors down from here. And something, not sure whether it was paranormal or not, was able to trigger these little plastic balls for us. And all they will do is light up Can you do that for us? Or maybe if you've got an air rifle. I could shoot them. <laughs> Gross. You could sort them 
bloody crowds out outside, they're going absolutely bonkers. What was that? Didn't hear nothing. Was that a, like a car going past? It sounded like something being dragged. No, I didn't hear that. Or was it a car going past? Don't know, didn't hear nothing. It sounded like, you know, somebody's like pulling carpet back off the floor. Yeah. Would you like us to go to another room? If so, try and direct us as to where you want to go. Tap on something, knock on something, make some kind of noise in where you want us to go. Where you'd probably feel more comfortable talking to us, communicating with us. There's a bug on my neck. Oh. No, okay. No. Let's try one of the rooms. Yeah. Maybe we should try the spirit talk wrap in here as well. Yeah. I don't see why not. Let's I mean, see. We didn't even need it in the other house, but... No. Um. What about this room? It looks quite big in here. Yeah. Maybe. Jesus, what are you doing? Yeah, let's go in there then. It looks a bit... Uh... Creepy like Sunday morning. Mm. Okay guys, so we've just come into one of the bedrooms upstairs. Uh, sticking down some devices, as we do. Yep. Yeah. Uh, once Adrian's finished fanning around, we will... I'm not fanning around, it's because I'm carrying everything. I've got to set everything well, up. Okay, so we've come into this bedroom now. If you are here, you've probably seen us putting these devices down. Got one on the sink there, one in the wardrobe, and then some on the window sills. Now, if you want to come forward and communicate with us, please do so by touching one of these devices. They won't hurt you. Or maybe you can touch us or speak to us somehow. They're yeah, just uh, settling down since Adrian's placed them. Perhaps you can make those flashing balls go off for us. Just touch them. It's my shoes creaking. Will you stand still? Oh, I know. I wore shorts and no socks today. No pants? <laughs> yeah, you wish. Two lights. Two lights? Two lights. Well, there will be two lights if you make two of the balls go off for us. Are you going to come forward and communicate with us or should we leave? Do you want us to leave? Do something to make us leave. Yeah, we're going to be here for another half hour, 45 minutes. So if you want us to leave now, you need to try and scare us out of here. We're not scared very easily. So you'll have to do something pretty major for that to happen. Something significant. Something very significant. Some would say astronomical. Mm. <laughs> Can you knock on the door for us? Just two knocks. Erica. Oh, Erica again. Yep. Okay, we're going to keep moving on then. 
Um, do, we, do we want to do any more rooms up in the... <clears throat> no, I don't think so. It just doesn't feel even remotely no. spooky up here. No, it doesn't, does it? Well, let's try no, a couple of rooms downstairs. Yeah. Playing the original carpet. It's <laughs> so old. Yeah. Maybe in here with the the moving door. It's cold in this room. It's cold in here. Okay, if there is a spirit in here, you can see us setting up devices. Well, you can see me setting up devices. Well I sat one over there on that windowsill. I'll put your K2 meter on there. Thank you. <clears throat> so if you can, come forward, try to communicate with us. Now earlier on, this door did close by itself. Can you close it for us? Or can you make a noise or just give us any, any kind of sign kind that you're of here sign. with us? Please, we're asking very nicely. That's a big fat no again. Yeah. Strange, isn't it? It is strange. That is strange. It's weird how two houses can give you such a different feeling. Yeah. But it feels like, even though it's quite cold, it feels like a, you know, like a, a warm, it's like a warm presence to it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, the other one was a bit, uh, I wouldn't say it was scary or spooky, but it definitely felt a bit, a bit different in there. Yeah. A bit of a different vibe. But in here. Oh, well, let's keep on keeping on. Oh, we're running out of rooms quickly here, guys. Let's go into uh, the kitchen. That's crazy how these, They've not done anything with these houses. They've just literally been sat abandoned for years and yeah. years. Still got a load of the original furniture and stuff in here. Let's see if we have any luck in here. Look at that lampshade. What the hell's going on there? What's wrong with that? I've got a feeling this was owned by an old person smells like an old person and things like that. What's that? Is that like a little peg? Is that for pegs? No, so you put pegs in. letters in it. Is it letters? You put letters in it. Oh, I don't know. There's no point ever. What are you going to do? Unscrew it off the wall to go and peg your washing? No, I'm not. No, I thought you'd keep pegs in it or something. I don't no. know. Ooh. Oh, there's actually some. I think it's all to do with the boiler, I reckon. Has it got a date on it? No, I don't know. Yeah, it says date. Yeah. Yeah. What's that say? 11th of July? 2001. 2001. But that doesn't mean it's... Well, it's been abandoned for at least 20 years. 20... Odd. 
Old. Pretty old. Very old. I mean, is that an asbestos ceiling? I, I don't know. It really does look like it. It does, doesn't it? Was it? It looks like a friggin' handprint on the ceiling there. Oh, yeah. No, it can't be. I think it's just where the paint's kind of gone. Maybe. Because like the paint's peeling back a bit there, look. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay, so if there is anybody in this kitchen with us. Can you make me a cup of tea, please? Yeah, I'm very parched. Can you knock on something? Push one of us? Tap one of us? Blow on us? Shut one of these cupboard doors? Touch one of our toys? Still with the spirit talk crap on? No. I turned it off. Once it starts giving you the same things that you've had before in the past, I'm mm, yeah. lose, uh, lose any hope. Definitely getting old woman vibes in here though. Yeah. An old woman that doesn't want to communicate. No. In any way, shape or form. Unfortunately. Perhaps there's somebody in here. In where? <laughs> in here. Yeah, I'll come here a minute. Why, right, what you found? Just come here, quick. I'm coming, I'm coming. Come ye, come ye. Right, what do you see there? What do I see where? There. There. <laughs> pegs. That's what pegs go in, a fucking <laughs> basket, not... Oh, yeah. You want me to come all the way over here for that? Yeah. A valuable life lesson. Yeah, well, I prefer the other one. Yeah. <laughs> you would. Is there anybody in this room? Wants to communicate? If you want to come forward? We would like to meet your acquaintance, if that is possible. Yeah, I just... Don't feel anything here. No. Talking like I'm some kind of psychic medium. All I see is cobwebs. Some weird looking lampshades in this mm. building. Mm. I mean, I don't know. What other rooms have we got to go in? Um. I mean, we've not done this room yet, have we? No. Nah. These doors are kind of weird as well. Yeah. All right, I'm going to grab the devices. What you are? Huh? Okay, now. <laughs> hey, let me come and walk. I've got to see this. <laughs> Leave me alone. Yeah, just... Well, that's running out of battery, isn't it? Yeah, I reckon it is, isn't it? Thank God for that. I'll put your K2 meter in that corner. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. No worries. That was you. Was it? Yeah. Okay, I'll give you a little. Okay, so we're just coming to the dining area. Running out of rooms uh, fast. Uh, yeah, nothing like the house down, down the street. Um, but nevertheless, we're going to keep on. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that we're going to get something. But uh, yeah, we literally haven't had anything yet. No, nothing. Uh, probably been the quietest property that we've done yeah. since we've started. So I'm starting to get the feeling that there are no ghosts or spirits in this property. What 
All you need to do is touch one of our devices and that will let us know that you're here with us. Please try and gather some energy to interact with one of our toys. There's some people watching at home that would love to see you set up one of these devices. There's two people standing here that would love yeah, to see it. There's two all. people here, yeah, that want to see it. Oh. Could that have been you moving? Well, literally, all I'm doing is going through my bag. Look, I, oh, I didn't okay. move my feet. Right. I seem to have lost a cat ball. No, I haven't. No. Okay, well, thank you very much. If that was you, could you make that go off again for us? Or could you shut the door next to it? Make it move? Please try and gather some more energy if you can. Just like that. Just like that. And, and when you pick that cat ball up, <clears throat> Hmm. It's almost like it's in the the middle of the doorway, so there's like a hole there, you know, like on a doorway. So you'd have a bolt ah, so it's to actually, go into the floor, so it can't move. It's kind of resting in in that in hole, like a little divot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Now, perhaps just to confirm that it was a spirit, please do that again one more time. And then we'll go. Yeah. And leave you in peace. And stop asking you the same questions. Mm, over and over again. Just touch the cat ball, please. One more time. And we're mm -hmm. out of here. And we'll go. Please gather more energy. They've run out of energy. Yeah, you know, I mean, you know, if spirits do exist, which I hope they do, <laughs> um, I wonder if it does really take it out of you to move something on the other side, I don't know. so to speak. I've got no idea. It's bad enough for using your energy on this side. I mean, if you remember Ghost with Patrick Swayze, when for him to touch stuff, he really had to well, remember that. Remember. He really had to concentrate to touch stuff, and he couldn't do it at first. I wonder if it is something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Can you please concentrate and make that cat ball go yeah, off again? Yeah, please, concentrate as hard as you can. Like Patrick did. <laughs> Poor old Patrick. <laughs> We just want to say thank you very much. We were getting worried we were going to get no activity whatsoever, but you've managed to light up that ball for us. If you'd be kind enough just to do it once more, we're out of that window. Please. And just so you know what Adrian was talking about, if we move this ball out of the way, as you can see, there's a little hole there. So the cat ball's rest in there nicely, so it couldn't move by itself. So that is interesting that it was able to go off twice. Okay, then maybe if you was a man, could you make the ball go off for us? Or was you a woman? No. 
No. Okay, well, if that was a spirit, it does seem to have used up all of its energy doing that twice, so... Evaporated. Um, yes. So what do you think? Yeah, I think we'll, uh, we're not getting too much here. No, it's been very minimal to say mm. the least. Um, yes. So yeah, I think probably what we're going to do now, guys, is wrap this one up. Um, it's been really fun exploring these buildings. It's, <laughs> Sounds yeah. like a strangled robin. Rem, rem, <laughs> rem pod needs another battery. But yeah, it's been really fun exploring uh, these two buildings down this street. Uh, shame we couldn't get in all six or seven. No, it must have been eight. No, I don't know how many is here. I just can't. Well, there's two. One that's lived in, for sure, because we spoke to that lady who lived in it. Oh, yeah, and one next to that. So there's either six or seven. So, yeah, shame we couldn't get in all of them, um, but we managed to get in two. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Please do remember to like and subscribe because it really does help out the channel. Um, but, yeah, I think that's about it from us on these... Uh, Definitely. Yeah, on these buildings, guys. So we'll see you again on the next one.